Good morning and welcome back to another video and today is another day of the Zero to Gold Cat Challenge. Now just stick around and enjoy the video. Okay guys, so today we are going to be running Dire Mall. Basically I'm going to show you how I prefer to run Dire Mall and then we'll be going over the gold for the day. Basically I asked yesterday on Race Van Crawl versus Dire Mall on how I would actually go about farming this up and I actually got a couple of requests in the comment section so I thought it would be a good idea to show you guys how I actually run Dire Mall. So that being the case, let's just grab up our loot appraiser, it's already set up, and now let's just run in. Now, I'm going to take a very slow approach to this because for obvious reasons, that means I've basically you guys can follow along and then you can do it at a faster pace when you actually do do it. So what I do is I come in here and immediately run to the left. I jump down and instantly hit them all the mobs. This group of mobs will gather up and then that I will then now sprint and make my way over towards these ones. I actually soothe those guys and then gather up the next pack of mobs which is over here. Basically, I will be gathering up all the big packs of the whiplashes. Now, these treants, they have to be grabbed singly because by the time you're actually doing that, you actually do have to do that. I then soothe the next pack, which is in the far corner, and all I do is target one of the little ones, and then the entire pack follows and grabs one of the big fash liners as well. Basically, I do that with this one as well, and then I make my way over towards this area here. There is an invisible mob as you turn in and he roughly gets to about the doorway by the time, there we are, as you basically run through this. So now I'll grab this pack of mobs and then all I do is speed up and I zoom all the way over. I make sure to click the one on the right hand side, gather this pack of mobs and this whip fell lasher and basically then I press soothe on the guy we just targeted to grab him as a pack. Now, basically all of these guys will pull the boss and the boss will follow and pretty much that is pretty much your entire room gathered up. So now what I do is I stop on this part here and I wait for these guys to actually pretty much just run all the way up. They do have a stunning ability and there is one guy usually that gets stuck between the walls. So I grab his loot first. Now I double back and then I just first loot and gather up all of my stuff and then the next pack I just gather them up as well and then we can see what we actually got for that. We actually got a, a nice little cloak which is worth a thousand gold so that's pretty damn cool. Now there are invisible mobs all throughout this and usually I will then use my tiger's dash to actually grab and run up to the top in which I will not run up the stairs to get the boss because that doesn't drop any awesome loot. We want the actual loot. So what I'll do is I'll run over to this guy and then I will dart over and pick up this guy. Usually he's about here, so yeah. Uh, obviously we're running a bit slower than I usually would. So that being the case, we then move our way over to the next pack of mobs. And what I will do is I will run over to this load over here. And all I'll do is then I'll soothe the phase lasher and I run around the corner. What I'll do here is I'll pause myself to stop all of the casters from doing all of their jazz and then wait for them all to gather up. They will frost over me and do all random loads of random stuff. And then I will just burn those down and gather up their stuff. The next thing is I will make sure that they are all dead, apparently I did not kill one of them, and we'll just wait for the entangling roots. There are entangling roots on the floor so make sure to dodge them, obviously I did not, so that's a good little uh, showcase on what happens, you get stunned for 5 seconds. And then I'll see this pack of mobs over here, I'll soothe them, and then usually I'll tiger's dash and just gather up all of these mobs as I go along. You don't have to worry about grabbing the big treant guy because all of the other guys will start grabbing him with us and then he'll start following us around. The next part is to then soothe this guy as we will be taking a corner round on the right hand side and we'll be doing the exact same as what we originally did. Don't worry about this guy because he'll be grabbed by all of the mobs so don't worry about that. And then we'll just grab those treants and then we'll run our way round. The next part is to basically just dodge those vine lashes so we don't actually get grabbed and we don't actually have to worry about grabbing any of these guys besides the last treant. We need to actually grab him. 
and we need to dodge that little node on the floor because that will entangle in roots us and we'll run around the corner. The next part is to wait for them all to gather up again and that is what I prefer to do and that brings us back up to the beginning again. So what I'll do is I'll just start killing stuff so bing bang bosh I will just then just I will then just use my AOE ability to make sure that they're dead and then just run out and pick up any of the loose guys that are actually following so like this last pack of mobs over here we just got ourselves a 2000 gold boot which is pretty good and then all we'll have to do now is just run out of the instance as such and then I'll just jump out of here basically I rinse and repeat this so I'll just do that destroy all trash items and this is what I'm left with and then pretty much I go through it after all of this so let's actually go through while we're doing the walkthrough why how and which I actually go through all of this stuff so let's close down that we'll press our repair bill because I can never stand to have damaged gear and then we'll just vendor all of the soulbound items because we don't need them the demonic runes we don't need and then we'll just have a gander at all of the other different stuff so those boots are pretty cool um, I'm actually quite happy with the Marauders uh, boots of fire flash and then all we'll do there is we'll just finish that up and then we can then sell that all on the auction house as well. So the materials will go to our dude. We'll go into our groups and we'll make sure that loads of stuff is actually added in. Obviously we have the silken sand boots so we'll just add those into our low end transmog and we'll close that down. And what I can do is just press Katie's uh, whistle which is a legion quest to give you a mailbox whenever you want but it's only active after a three hour cooldown and then we'll just press send and then it should hopefully send all of our bits and for some reason it's deciding to bug out so that how very helpful very very helpful so <laughs> what we'll actually do now is we'll just manually send it over this is why I don't usually set all this up and I just send it over manually but but that's not the point what I'll do now is I'll just press that press that bing bang bosh and then over to Dalamogs we'll send all of that stuff over and then we can then bing bang bosh all of that. So that's how I like to run Dire Maul. So that being the case, let's run into the gold for the day. Okay, so let's get into the gold for the day, which is we're just gonna have to open up all of our expired mails quickly. So yeah, this is basically what I've been doing. I was actually gathering a load of random materials, doing a load of random stuff to grab the a load of footage. So we've got quite a bit of random materials at this moment in time and the same goes for all of that stuff so we'll just replenish all of our stuff like as such so if you bear with me two seconds we can then just post that all to the auction house as as follows. Basically I'm not going to go through our transmog stuff because I said I'm going to do that kind of weekly um, as and when I have the time so probably the next time I open up the transmog gold will probably be Sunday so just so you know transmog opening for gold wise will be on the Sunday but uh, aside from that well, let's just post all of this to the auction house and we'll see what actually comes about so yeah I'm really not overly too worried about any of the worst stuff just happy that we're able to post a load of stuff to the auction house and bing bang bosh it should be okay so I'm taking a very uh, calmer demeanor for the day um, <laughs> mainly because I'm really tired but um, yeah just waiting on that last one as it seems to be wanting to wait for some reason okay so the gold for the day is a healthy 34,260 gold the things of note are well we sold a load of that dream foil um, <laughs> all of the other stuff that we got from like Dire Maul uh, the last few days is pretty damn good it's all selling uh, not for an overly all that much, but it's a nice little uptick. The things of note, however, are Vantus Runes, Nihilo for the waking, waking City, 36 of those for 22,402 gold, and 19 Flask of Winds for 7,678 gold. The only other thing is a Glyph of Critter Hex for 1,154 gold. The rest of it's all random stuff we got from our Transmog farms, so I'm pretty damn happy with the way things are going that right there. So what I'll do is we'll just get rid of some war paints quickly. I know it's sacrilege, but um, basically what I'll do now is I'll just gather up all of that stuff and then we can then see the overall gold value, so to speak. So that's pretty damn good. 
I'm quite happy with the way things are going right there. So that being the case, let's just have a gander at how much gold we've actually got in our bags, which is 1,145,674 gold. The obviously the things of note were those those Nyalotha rooms, Francis rooms, and we've always got a ton of these on, on my auction house um, all the time, mainly because they're still selling and they will continue to sell until the end of the expansion. Uh, they are tapering off on the cells, so they're not as frequent as they once were, but they do are still selling. So I'm pretty much keeping to the same amount as I had because I did, if you remember right, if you've been watching me for like a month or so, you you know that I did like a massive bulk load of like 250 of them and uh, we're still on those ones. So worth bearing in mind that you only craft as and when you need them. So probably craft like 40 odd and then see if they sell and then keep doing that and keep restocking, replenishing and all that jazz. So that being the case, I'm really happy with the way things are going at this moment in time. Nothing overall to actually go over, it's just basically relisting all of my stuff to the auction house, keeping everything up to date and just making sure that we're selling all of the stuff that we need to sell. So that being the case guys, that's pretty much all I have to say for the day. Have an awesome rest of the day and I shall see you in the next video which will be tomorrow.